This is Houston. Say again, please. Hey there folks, welcome you all to part 27 of Wilson on the Xbox Series X. We are exactly where we were people at the end of the last part. Well, we've reloaded it. Has been a number of days since I played the last part. However, at the end of the last part, we got our new mighty bow that we bought from Mojave over here. We've not taken it for a test drive yet, people. And I'm pretty sure his inventory looks to be the same as it was the last time we were here, so we're not going to fuss around with that too much. But just to recap slightly, our bow has... It's a little bit frustrating, that. You've got to take the bow off to uh, to look at it. So if we look there, we've got 26 to 31 fire on it. We've got 53 to 107 physical on it. We've got 17 to 21 rend, but we've not really invested in rend. A, we've also got three gems in it, one of which has given us five to five frost, another's given us four to four frost, and the other's given us five to five toxic damage, and all of those are ubered up with what we've been investing in. If we put it back on on the left hand side, we should be able to see. Yeah, there we go. So we've got frost damage of 40 to 44. Oh, that's interesting. That's lower than I thought it was going to be. So frost damage 40 to 44, if the physical damage is really high, global damage is really high. A Ren damage is actually almost, well in fact it's higher than the frost damage in its total. The fire damage is 65 to 79, so we're actually getting a huge amount of... I'm surprised at that, I thought the frost damage would be higher. Considering that I've put two gems in it. But nonetheless, we have a fairly hefty amount. If we put the guns back on... Uh, we'd have a lot more frost damage, but they have frost base damage on them, I think. And we're also going to be missing out on our uh, freezing power as well, as it happens. I'll tell you what, actually, I think at the end of the last part, I decided I wasn't going to take the guns with me, but I think I am going to take them with me. Just so we can compare a few things. Lightning, physical fire. Well, one of them was only basing its frost damage off of the gems, by the looks of it, anyway. And this one had 13 to 19 frost on its base damage. But we also had, yeah, freeze. We've got two 16% freezes on that, uh, that weapon there. So we could get that in the, the Heartseeker bow, but we'd have to... We'd have to try and mix up the slots a bit. Anyway, let's take it for a test drive. We're heading back to... The Conflux. Studious. Probably not the best of times to be going from guns back to bow. Probably be all over the shop. Final push. Victory is at hand. Oh, it's Heimlock. Wondered who was with me. What is that? The Abyssal Portal. It is opening. We'll secure the area. You do your thing. The searing song be with us. could set me free that easily. This is the fallen Duke of Fury you're facing, Valeria. We lost. He wins. Never. No matter the odds. You betrayed us for the last time. I will drive my blade through your heart. <laughs> I think something's gone a bit funny with the uh, cutscene here, people. I know your every move, child. I made you, molded you. You 
Let me ease your pain, daughter. Father. I wish there was another way. Can't accept defeat, can you? Well, that was all over the place, that cutscene. It's a good start. Even if you won, she would fall into the abyss. Your sister is gone. The Hellion is gone. This is all pointless. Fury's ascent is nigh. Submit! There is no giving up on family. Child, you and I don't get to have one. Had a feeling Valeria was never going to make it. <clears throat> Really? She suffers because of you, because of your stubbornness, because of your ego. Not right now. Surrender to my axe. This is a better fate than enslavement. There we go, come on. You are an ascended. If you had listened when I exiled you, you would have had time to train and maybe save this world. But you threw all that away to save your sister. She has been holding. I will break you. For her. Break me? You know nothing of my powers. <laughs> Young Ascended. You will be <clears throat> Pointless struggle. Right, I'm getting bloody hammered here. Can't manage that right now. Why is my awesome powers not working? What's happening, people? Come on, you big badger. Lambak was right. You can't change the outcome.
Martha lights. She is alive. Well, that didn't last long, did it? I don't even know where he's gone. <laughs> Phase three, is it then? <laughs> you will pay for your insolence. How many phases has this badger got? Really? Well, I'm not doing any damage to him and I just got one hit killed. I've got to be more careful. Can't move, can't move. I'm not sure how I'm meant to hurt him. Oh, there we go. I think I've got to get him inside these things, maybe. Fuck off.
It's over, child. He has won. That's not happening. is waning! Classification awaits us all. Stand firm! She will push back Araman! Stand firm? It's easy for you to say, dude. Get my ass handed to me. Not right now. The portal got out of control. You can't prevent his coming now. Anathea protects this world. I need more power. Come on now. No. Not right now. I can't hurt him in a minute, can I? Dirty badger. There he goes. Woohoo! Senseless relapse. Defeat Hemlock in battle. Well, Valeria's still hanging around up there. Uh, what am I meant to do, please? Oh, alright. He's bringing Valeria down. Is he going to fix her? It's over, children. We will know peace together now. He is here. Ganez! Almost there! I can feel the portal waning. Nice. <clears throat> Which one do we want? Attack speed. Willpower regeneration. It's all damages I don't use, isn't it? But elemental resistance score, shadow damage. Elemental damage would be useful, I suppose. But it's ether as well. 
health regen on that one. And attack speed. Yeah, I'm not, not overly impressed with any of them, to be fair. Agility plus, plus, plus 10 to agility, maybe. Oh. Just going to kick into another thing, I think. So I did pick everything up, I think, around here. What's happening? Ganez, what's happening? Araman is splitting to get a part of himself through the portal. Faster! She won't make it. Close it now. For the searing song! There's no giving up on family. But you just didn't think that through, did you? <laughs> to be continued, really. <laughs> Is that the end? <laughs> Brilliant. Into the Fury. So, complete chapter three. I'm assuming there's going to be a chapter four, please. Come on now. Yay! <laughs> Is that really you? There were rumors. Everyone thought you were dead. The Order of Ashara. Where are they? The Order. They're in the palace. But they're... Uh... Well, she's a bit cheesed off. Waiting for ages. Why do they get to cut through the light? From what I can tell, they're an order of knights dispatched from Archeon. Of diplomatic importance in that. Hence the priority treatment. Well, we picked up a few bats, which we're probably not going to need. Frost damage on the one we've got on, so might as well go. Well, there's a shock in this one, right enough. <clears throat> Which might take more frost damage than the other one. Rogue gloves. But we've already got a legendary pair on. Mind you, they're level 41, these ones. Sorcerer outfit, of course it is. Well, probably makes more sense to put the new one on. A greater entropy orb. Rerolls all magic effects when used on an item. It will consume all socketed gems to guarantee you. Oh, it can only be applied to legendaries. Nice. 
Genesis Stone. Blimey. Holy shit, look at that. Plus 15% attacks damage, plus 15% spell damage, plus 10% damage. Nice. Well, I think we can get rid of the armory bits. 735 force field though. Well, mind you, it's because it's a sorcerer one though, with no health on it. Quartermaster Havar. Not spoke to him before, have we? If we have, I'm forgetting all about it. Again. Do not be shy. He'll only chew your face off if I tell him to. Yeah, he's got a few bits, but nothing special. Uh, did I look at Mahabi's? Yeah, he's not got much either. In fact, it's not refreshed since the last time we were here. So, do we or do we not put this on? Is the question. I think the one we've got on is actually better. Yeah, I might just... Well, it's got eight, plus 8% 8 elemental damage on it right enough, which probably helped with the fire and the ice and all that. Uh, oh wait, it's got a 17% freeze chance score with frost damage as well, so I don't think we will. I forgot we had a socket in it. So we might as well get rid of that as well, to be fair, if that's the case. A humble oh my god, why have you put all these guys all together? You know Mojave is always the best value. All of you. I need an audience with the council. As I've said a thousand times, the council is not seeing anyone today. They have more urgent matters to attend to. They'll want to hear what I have to say. Thunderblade, do you not recognize your champion? Champion? It's you. I had no idea. My deepest apologies. The council would never deny you an audience. Not after all you've done for us. All right, enough gushing. Step aside now. My name is Zalahir, champion. Military advisor to the council. What brings you here? Rumor had it you died at Crimson Keep. Not quite. My enemies came close, but my strength remains. What of your family? When you left, you were looking for them. Oh, they're fine. Perfectly safe. As we speak, they are among friends. I'm sure they'll join us soon enough. As of right now, though, I need to talk to the Council. It's imperative that we help the Order of Ashara. Well, good luck with that. They've been debating it for days now. The Great Houses can't seem to come to an agreement. Maybe you can talk some sense into them. Head on inside. Convince the council to help the Order of Ashara. The Empty Throne. Take a note of that. We can't waste another day. The more time we spend navigating your bureaucracy, the less likely it is that we'll ever find her. I'm sympathetic to your concerns, gentlemen. But we are accountable to the Great Houses, just as you're accountable to your elders. You think this is about accountability? The only reason we know Ashara's alive is because this place isn't a smoking ruin yet. 
quiet, Ilthane. That's beyond the scope of this conversation. We recognize you're in a difficult position, but I regret to say we have yet to reach a consensus with the Great Houses. One moment. I want to speak with the Order of Ashara. What brings you all to Stormfall? Who's asking? Ondar, wait. I've met this woman. She helped me hunt Circus down. You know, that's Svrir attacking the Southern Anchor. So it is. Our champion returned to us at last. Bad tidings came from Crimson Keep. We were hardly expecting you to return. But somehow here I am. I've come to ensure that the Order's demands are met. What do you need from the Diamond Council? It's about our matriarch, Ashara. The one I told you about. The mother of all our drakes. She's gone missing. Indeed. But we don't have the numbers to carry out a thorough search on our own. Hence our presence here. Perhaps we haven't made ourselves clear. If we stepped out of line to help you, we would be stripped of our titles before you saw the shadow of an alliance. It's true. Our hands are tied in this matter. No, not completely. We could lean on the scales by selecting a temporary head of state. Someone not partisan to any existing house. Someone with the goodwill of the people. You? You must be joking. Well, actually, consider that the champion has something we lack. The respect of noble and commoner alike. Not to mention the public would finally feel safe again. We remain in dangerous times ever since the Svrir crisis. But will the Great Houses allow it? They fear the mounting wrath of the people as much as we do. They may be amenable to selecting a regent. True as that may be. First, we must assemble their representatives. We cannot transfer executive power without their consent. Come back later in the afternoon, champion. We will update you on the house's decision then. <laughs> Real miracle worker, aren't you? We're not clear yet, but if you're going to help us, we should tell you what's at stake. Not here. Let's talk outside. Okay. <laughs> Just plonks me somewhere in the matters of state. But here we are. I heard what you said before about the city crumbling without a shara. Care to elaborate now we're alone? I will. Just know that some of this may seem abstract or fantastical to you. <laughs> Trust me, I'm used to it. Well, Shara is a seal between our world and the labyrinth called Nadra, which connects multiple planes. She and Nadra together bind us to the realms of law, of dreams, of death and oblivion. If Oshara dies, the seals between this realm and the labyrinth will break. Chaos will ensue. And is that what you think your enemies want? To break the seals? To shatter all order? Oshara's a powerful being. There's no telling what they might get from her. Which is why we should waste no time finding her. We have had reports of drakes in the wilds near Stormfall. Oshara's progeny, we believe. They may hold the key to finding her, but they haven't been seen airborne for days now, and the tree cover makes it impossible for us to establish any leads. We've asked the Council for Stormfall's help, but as you've seen, that hasn't amounted to much. Speaking of, I believe I see them waiting for you. Right. I'll leave you now and go fetch my crown. Good luck. It's going to be weird calling you regent if the council comes through. Yes, this will be in the city's best interest. What a stroke of good fortune. Ah, there she is, the regent-elect. Please join us. Well, I would if I could figure out. Oh, there we go. <laughs> did the great houses see sense then? We're happy to say that they did. We were up all night discussing your proposal. Many of the other houses were predictably uh, uncertain at first. But thankfully, everyone sees sense in granting you temporary powers. You are the perfect candidate. The vote was passed unanimously in the early hours of the afternoon. Good. 
Now let the Order know that Stormfall will provide the resources they need to find their matriarch. We've already ordered Guard Captain Zala here to assemble a council attending to the Order's needs. You may join the Drake Knights there at your earliest convenience. But first, we should make it official. We were thinking a coronation, a day of celebration to mark your ascendancy. The people will love it. I care nothing for pomp and ceremony right now. I must move quickly if I am to... if we are to help the Order. But it would do wonders for public perception. Everyone should know that their champion now watches over them. It will calm their nerves. An unnecessary expense and a waste of time. Put it out of your mind. Such is your prerogative. We understand, of course. But Tabitha will learn her place in time, I assure you. If you wish to organize our efforts with the Order of Ashara, I recommend you speak to Zala here in the marketplace. He'll brief you on how to begin allocating resources to projects in the city. Helping the Order will be one such project, of course, but you may wish to begin others. My priority is finding the Matriarch, but I will consider the rest. Blimey, there's a lot of talking in this bit. Ushara's Council. There he is. Stormfall overview screen. Welcome to the Stormfall overview screen. Here you will be able to order the funding of projects using various resources such as gold and productivity. For now, the only building available is the is the Oshara, Oshara's Council. Select the building and start your first project to unveil the fate of the matriarch. Once you have selected projects you want to work on carry out operations from the Stormfall Plaza war table to advance their progression but don't forget to check in between operations to see what projects are finished. It's a long time coming you know Damascus had his priorities wrong. Hmm what do you mean by that? He was always looking to undermine the authority of the great houses. He forgot it was us who gave him his position in the first place. So why do we have someone like that at all? A merchant prince? <laughs> and now a regent? Why not just have the council rule? Well, decisions would never be made if there was no one to have the final say. Every house has its vested interests, and it's almost impossible to compromise with so much to untangle. With a regent making the final decisions, at least they have to provide compelling arguments for the motions they put forward. I guess that makes sense. In a way. <laughs> Just letting that conversation play out. Right, so it looks like we can do all sorts here, city-wise. Um, this is surprising me. I didn't see this coming <laughs> in this sort of game. And the fact that we're just level one of this now so it makes me feel like this game has got a long way to go. So we're going to click on Ashara's Council because it's all I can do at the moment. They really gave you the Regency. I can't believe Scout the wilds. I might have tried that too if I knew it was an option. I'll say. They're more desperate than I thought. I hate to interrupt, but we have work to do. Ondar, Ilthane, what's the current state of your investigation? The Drakes were last seen in the wilds south of Stormfall. We've tried to locate them ourselves, but our numbers are small, the wilds vast, and the tree cover thick. What can we do to help? We have ground forces we could spare as scouts. And there are tribes in the wild with whom we have good relations. They may be able to give us some leads. Then that's where we'll begin. Any objections? Ilthane? Onda? No objections. Your plan is sound. Let's get on with it, shall we? Very good then. I'll make the necessary preparations. Just give the word when you want to begin the search, Regent. Okay, well, I don't, I don't seem to be able to click any other buttons other than... Uh, scout the wilds. There is a start projects down at the bottom there, but I think that's the same thing, so... I'll begin giving the scouts their orders. We won't see results for some time. So meanwhile, why not speak to Eugene and pick up a contract? Oh, and if you haven't already, I'd advise you to talk to the council. They have some plans regarding the improvement of the city's infrastructure. Try not to get too distracted. 
You know what's at stake here. As I said, finding Ashara is my top priority. I'll come find you when we have news. Okay, uh, I fear that if I hit A, I'm going to cancel the project, so we don't want to do that. Huh. I don't, I don't seem to be able to go back into it from here. Never mind. Hey, we've got a map. Oh, here we go, war table. <clears throat> Purple Phoenix always has one. Bit more than usual. This is the war table. It offers a selection of operations you can carry out to select storm uh, to protect what storm for. In doing so, each completed operation will grant you rewards that will help you tackle greater challenges. You will choose. You will have to choose among three different operations, each of its own risks and rewards. A new set of activities will be available once in operation is completed. Make up your mind. This is also where you can use any special mission items in your in your inventory or personal chest. Select the consumables button at the war table to see what's available. If I have to do overtime because of you, it's gonna die. It's a bit like the old Dragon Age Inquisition, isn't it? Uh, it doesn't really tell you much about each one though. Uh, what does the two I'm assuming that it's difficulties one or length. <laughs> Spoil for choice. Help. We do really Here we go. So the number of diamonds represents the threat level of the operation. The higher the threat level, the fiercer the enemies. This icon represents the rarity. Uh, sorry, the next one is the this item of the rarity of the reward you will gain. Uh, yeah, yeah, I know. It's a whole world of possibilities. And the other one, I can't see. Unlock higher difficulty levels by gaining enough skulls. Skulls will only be rewarded completing an operation be awarded for completing an operation at the highest available difficulty. Uh, you all right? Should I call for someone? Okay, well, I've got no idea as to whether or not I should do difficult ones or not do difficult ones. Uh, there doesn't seem to be any... Ariman is closing in. Onslaught. Doesn't seem to tell you much about... You all right? There we go. A servant of the sleeper is harvesting souls here. Now is the perfect time to strike. Could just go for the tough one, couldn't we? Oh, one of these. Headhunts can get a little. Bandits are lying in wait in this location, providing an opportunity for you to strike. Fight through reinforcements to catch crooks like that. Got the details down. Yeah, let's do a three three star one. See what happens. Or three diamond one, whatever it is. All oh, right. Uh, okay. So we actually go on these missions then, right? Okay. <laughs> Shit. I thought it was like Dragon Age Inquisition, where they would just happen in the background, but it's not. Very badly hurt. Not right now. was bloody close that was oh, no. fuck me I'm getting hammered Thank you. 
Why do I feel like this is never going to end? Oh, this is getting out of hand, people. What is happening? Is this one of these things where I've just to survive as long as I can? That was a good time to level up, eh? Rogue pants. Whoo. What's that all about? That's not enough. Blimey. Not right now. Another team. Not 
Whew. Wow, that actually did it, people. <laughs> Good grief. So it wasn't a survive as long as you can one then. I think I hit my map on by mistake at some point in that fight. Size of the footprint there. <laughs> Picks everything up. Looks like it. Ooh, check that out. Achievement a lot, low level management. Complete your first operation in champion of Stormfall mode. A base productivity 10. Not downed plus 20%. Monsters killed plus 10%. Champions killed plus 15%. No modifiers then. Productivity applied 44. Ooh, and a present. Well, that's the rogue one. Uh, what is it? Is it a hat? It's a helm. Plus 30 material resistance score, plus 7% skill cooldown reduction, plus 68 force shield on this item. Oh, plus 8% movement speed. Never turn that down. A hey. Christ, we picked up a bit there, didn't we? Hey. Mm. Not sure there's anything but one of you. Uh, mind you, they're all right, rogue. Pants. Hmm. Still got the movement speed from the re the legendary ones. Four hundred health, four hundred force shield. It's a fair bit more than we've got. Seven percent movement speed. I'm not sure what we'd lose. We'd lose some wisdom, but we'd gain some agility. We'd lose some elemental damage. Decent gun that as well. 92 damage, top end. Rendering physical. Well, there's far too much to look at, people. Well, it's well worth putting that helm on, actually, because if we could put the same gem in it, passive dodge chance score, it's got a pink gem in it. Mm, it's not that one, though. That one. Plus six percent passive dodge chance score. Well, that'll do nicely. Wondering if we should put the kex on as well. Mind you, it's not that much more in the health department, but a lot more in the force shield department. A could put a gem in that as well. Defensive three. All resistance score, more force shield. Global life leech.
Not sure how what that global life leech actually does. Just on every hit or what? Plus 33% health we were getting from that other one. Okay, I think we'll leave everything else for now. Ooh, a couple of reds popping up in his inventory there. Patronage is appreciated. Ooh, frost damage on that one. It's actually a. Ooh. I was going to say slightly better than the one that we've got because it's got two to three frost damage on the one we've got on. But it's got 16%. Elemental resistance score. Oh, I thought it was going to be damage that. Plus ten percent to all resistance score. You have a good eye. Picked up a die as well. Khaki die, I think we've already got that one though. You know Mojave is always the best value. I'm pretty sure we're already using a large, aren't we? Feel like. Doesn't actually compare the ones you've got on, does it? Which is a bit frustrating. Tell your friends, Mojave stand in the palace district. Yeah, we didn't have the khaki one. A fine item. Thank you very much. Yeah, re-roll the magic effects on a legendary. Could re-roll it on that gun, but I don't know if it'll take the damage up. Could try it though. <laughs> or we could send it to the chest by mistake. Mm, don't know, maybe we should hang on to it in case we find something that's really sweet. It's a fair point actually, we didn't... Uh... Oh my god. Right. Yeah, it's fine. Plus ten percent damage would be decent on uh weapon though, wouldn't it? Or anything with offensive. Well, we have just hit the hour mark. We need to speak to Zala here again after doing the war table. Oh no, we need to get the war table actually, not Zala here. All oh, right. Okay, I see. 
my lady. Our scouts are on standby to investigate the reports of drakes in the wilds. Give the word and they will be dispatched. Hey, I thought I had done that already. Active projects, one of two. Are you sure you want to cancel this project? No, I don't want to cancel the project, no. Huh. Well, I'll be beggared if I know how to... I can't press anything else. The only button I can press is A. Active projects. Ah, right, okay. Well, I don't know why it says one of two, because there's only one there. So I've got no idea why it's telling me there's another one to do. Yeah, mission's one. Uh, nah. Don't know. So I don't know why there's a star on it, because I can't do anything with it apart from cancel it. Cancel project, no. No. Got a few points to spend in here. For now. Right, well, we need to go back to the war table and figure out what we're doing next. For someone of your abilities. I'm assuming this all happens from the war table now, because uh, I don't seem to be able to use the thing in the middle of the room anymore. Oh, mind you, I haven't tried, have I? Oh, I can do. Yeah, this waypoint has not been unlocked. Seems reasonable. Yeah, so we need to keep doing the war table stuff by the looks of it. What the hell? Dragons kicking around all over the shop. What's happening? <laughs> okay, well, we've we've gone over the armor there, people. So I think in the next part we'll have another another look at the war table and pick out another thing to do. Uh, there's all ones and twos on this one now, so we shall decide which one to pick on the net. We'll pick a two, though. We'll keep going for the higher ones as best we can, I think. Hey. Oh, Harum's skills. Do violence, reap Stormfall defences. Can't do anything with those yet. Left and right trigger down at the bottom there. In fact, I couldn't even pick any of the... Oh, there we go. Must have been because I hit the trigger buttons. It stopped working. Right, okay. Well, in the next part, people, we should crack on with more War Table stuff. Very good. It has been an honour and a privilege serving for you once again in Wilson Lords of Mayhem on the Xbox Series X. And I'll catch you in the next one, folks. Take it easy. Bye.